just had this moment where I was tired of not being looked at in the face. Heidi Kershaw is the mother of an eight-year-old boy with autism. I said, oh, if only I could put Mickey Mouse right here on my face. She saw a need that wasn't being met. And that's how it was born. Kershaw wanted to make glasses she could wear that streamed content to the lenses so she could keep her son's attention and see his eyes. Yeah, I just wanted him to look at me in the face. And I've been wanting this for his entire life, and I couldn't get him to do it. Kershaw says she reached out to engineering firms around the world. Each told her the technology was impossible or too expensive until she connected with BYU's engineering capstone program. These students were saying, yeah, this is possible. And within two months' time, they came to me and said, okay, there's two different ways to do this project. What do you prefer? They came up with probably 80 different ideas of how to possibly approach this and then narrowing down the ideas one by one. Daryl Goff was the capstone coach on the project. I have a, a pair here and you, you can see what the glasses look like. Here's the piece of teleprompter glass and then up top is the LCD screen. And uh, on my hip right now, I'm wearing the, has the control unit. Goff says therapists can wear these glasses, stream animation to the front of the frames, and fade the animation until their eyes appear like this. I'm going to turn down the image now, and the image will start to fade, and you can see my eyes coming through here and uh, until the image wow. is all the way off. And if the child becomes uncomfortable and starts looking away? Then the therapist can bring the image right back up and uh, re-engage with the child. For Goff and Kershaw, the hope is that over time, the child's brain will make neural pathway connections, so making eye contact becomes more comfortable. That then sets a foundation for them to start in their progression with verbal skills and with social skills, things like that. We depend so much on human connection through eye contact. This is gonna work, this is gonna benefit them. This is gonna work. And I'm really excited about it because it's going to help kids. Bob Evans, Fox 13 News, Utah.